Welcome to the SDK basics of changing satellite parameters. Make sure you have SDK 12 or higher loaded on your computer and that you've opened up the SDK basics.vdf file, which should look like this. Today, we're going to talk about changing the satellite parameters. So that means we're going inside the object browser. Notice the red box to the left. We're going to make that enlarged a little bit. And so today we're going to be working with SAT1, our satellite on here. So to get the parameters, we're going to right click on SAT1. And you'll notice in the bottom left is the window that'll open called SAT1 Basic Orbit. And it has several items on there. We're first of all going to look at the ones in the red box. These are called Classical Orbital Elements, or COEs for short. There's always going to be six of them there. These are the items that you change during the STK scenario. This allows you to change the orbit. I'll remind you, do not change other items on this page. These are the only ones. So we're going to start by looking at the semi-major axis. It happens to be 6678.14 kilometers. Now we're going to talk about COEs in a different recording, but I'll just say that this represents half the distance from the center of the Earth to the outside of the orbit, or it's half the size. Now the item below there's eccentricity is zero, which means it's a circle. And for today, we're only going to work with circular orbits. For a circular orbit, the semi-major axis is the distance from the center of the Earth to both the farthest point on the orbit, apogee, and the closest point, perigee. For a circle, they're equal, and in this case, it's 300 kilometers. So we want to change our view. Instead of having semi-major axis and eccentricity, we're going to find it's going to be much more helpful to have apogee and perigee altitudes. So if we Go where it says semi-major axis and click on the button there. We can go down and select apogee altitude. And notice it changes both of them to 300 kilometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by changing the altitude to 1,000 and then 3,000 kilometers. So the way I can do that is notice I got apogee and perigee. I can go to the box and th that's on there. And I can change those numbers each to a thousand. Now in a minute, I'm gonna go to STK and I'm gonna demonstrate that. Okay, we also wanna change it to 3000. So notice there, we changed them both to 3000. And uh, I'm also gonna say we can change inclination and in this case, we're going to go to the inclination block and change it to 30. And we want to go back to 45 so that we, so we have a better starting point. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the STK file, and I'm going to go through those same changes. So I right-click on SAT, and I get uh, Properties. And notice here's my six classical orbital elements. The first thing I do is I'm going to go apogee altitude. It goes to 300 and 300. I want to change these to 1,000. So I can go in the box, and there's a number of ways to do it. I'm going to change that to 1,000. I'm going to go to the other and change it to 1,000. And I'm going to start by hitting the Apply button. So if I hit Apply, it's actually changed the satellite but of course, this window's blocking from view. You'll notice down at the bottom, I have a SAT1 block, but I'm going to minimize that. So that goes down to the bottom. And now I can see this 3 and 2D windows. And you may notice the altitude's higher here. Um, we're not going to worry about those right yet. OK, now I can come back here to SAT1 and hit on the bottom, and then I need to maximize that. So that comes back, and I'm gonna change this to 3,000. So I, all I do is change the one to a three, one to a three. Um, I'm gonna hit apply again. Uh, notice, now it's completely blocked, and there's no minimize button. But if I go up to the top right-hand corner, 
there's a little thing that says reduce the window to an icon and it goes back down to the bottom. So if you look closely, the altitude's much higher. Uh, the ground track has changed slightly. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna maximize that button and I'm gonna change the inclination to 60. So I changed that to 60, only this time I'm gonna hit the OK button. So if I hit the OK button, it makes the changes. Oh, but it gets rid of those parameter windows. Unfortunately, I only have my 3D window. If you remember from earlier, if I go up to the window button at the top and I go tile vertically, oh, now I've got my 3D and my 2D window back. The altitude is much higher. Uh, the ground track looks a lot different. Um, on a later recording, we're gonna show you what all that means. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna go back and change back to what we started though. So if I go back to properties, I wanna change those two to 300 and I wanna change the inclination to 45. Ah, this is great. Something came up that we've discovered is an issue with SDK 12. Uh, when I try to hit apply, it says, well, wait a minute. Apogee is greater, it's gotta be greater than alt equal to perigee. Um, even though I did that at 3000, it still came up there. So we've discovered a way around this. If that happens, go up here and change it to semi-major axis. And if you'll notice, it's changed the inclination. If I go back to altitude, it's because this, for some reason, hasn't, okay? If you go to semi-major axis, come back, then you can change them and it'll work correctly. Uh, it's a glitch in the system, but I'm glad you were able to see that. So a reminder on this section, we talked about just changing the parameters, in this case, the apogee and perigee altitude and the inclination. And those are, the, uh, those are two of the things that you're allowed to change on the SDK.